Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel OSVFX. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create interactive charts in Excel with the help of form controls. So let's start. In this interactive chart example, I have used uh, the form control called the scroll bar. So let's see how the scroll bar control works. Uh, go to developers tab. Uh, in the insert, you can see a form controls as well as ActiveX controls. ActiveX controls basically used for uh, creating macros uh, or if you know the programming language or VBA script, you can use this one. So I'm not going to show you uh, about ActiveX control. Let's concentrate on form controls. Now in the form controls, you have different types of controls like combo box, check box, radio button, etc. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the scroll bar. Select the scroll bar and drag it and, and drop it. Okay, you can just uh, uh, increase the size or decrease the size. Now, right mouse click, uh, go to format control, where you have got uh, certain uh, properties which you have to set the values, and you have the cell link. For example, I want to uh, link uh, this particular form control a uh, value to a, a cell. For example, I'm just going to say the cell link, uh, say uh, this one, which is uh, E11 and I'm going to set the minimum value is 1 and the maximum value say of 5 or 6 okay and incremental change it should be uh, like when I uh, move next it should uh, take 1, 2, 3, 4 or it should take 2, 3, 6 like that so it depends on your uh, requirement you can change it and just say okay now by default it's showing 1 here now if I just click it here it's changing 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 because it, it will not go beyond 6 because we have used the maximum value which is 6 here. I have moved the cell link value to uh, F21 just uh, to have uh, enough space for us to create the, the charts. Right. So this is perfectly working all right. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to fill the 5 years data uh, in this table by using the index uh, function. So let's see how to use the index function equals index array. Where is my uh, data? The data is in this table, which is from 2008 to 2017. Uh, press F4 key to get the obsolete uh, uh, reference, comma, row number. Row number is the cell link value of the scroll bar, which is uh, this one, which is F21. I'm pressing the F4 key again and close the bracket. So you've got the 2008, which is the first record, 2008. For if I make it, uh, if I click it here, if I move the scroll bar, the value gets two, and the value is 2009, and you can see it's 2009 here, 2013. All right. So I'm going to uh, use the same function. Uh, for uh, the remaining years to fill 2009, 10, 11, 12. Let's enter the same formula for uh, uh, 2009 equals index array. I'm going to select it here from 2008 to 2017. Or the best way is to uh, do the name range here. And if I'm not going to do, show you that one. And obsolete uh, reference comma the cell link it's 2008 and 2008 if I move the cursor or sorry the the scroll bar so it's showing 2009 actually it should show us uh, 2008 2009 to do that one I'm going to use another function called rows all right so I'm just going to use a function called rows so before that one I'll just show you how the rows function work equals to I'm not using the row function, I'm going to use the rows function. And array, for example, if I select both of these, it is giving me two. If I select three, it will give, select me, it, it will give you the result of three. All right, so plus rows, I'm going to give only say a D26. All right, and enter. 
so we got 2009 if i move it 2009 to 2010 so similar fashion we have to use uh, the the remaining uh, years again let me just show you one more example equals to index array comma cell link plus rows now rows we have to select two to get the 2011 now two rows so the array is d26 to d27 and press enter key all right so 2008 2009 2010 can you see so we'll do the remaining uh, for uh, years revenue profits and uh, taxes as well now we'll fetch the revenues value here the same formula we are going to use the index equals index array comma the cell link which is the row number and close the bracket so we've got 1200 for 2008 which is perfectly all right see for 2009 1400 now let's do the second one equals index array comma the cell link plus rows i'm going to give the uh, the array which is uh, d26 itself and close the bracket now what's happening here instead of fetching the value of which is for 2009 1400 the, the formula is giving 1201 only which is uh, it's considering like a year 2008 to 2009 so we need to do some small uh, modification in the formula to get the right value so instead of uh, closing the bracket here remove this bracket and put it at the end one bracket open okay so here also one two open and two close brackets press enter key now you can see 1400 all right so we'll do the remaining formula the same formula for all the other columns okay now we have filled the data uh, entirely in this table now it's time to create the the chart select the data and insert you can select the chart whichever chart you like okay a simple uh, a, a cluster chart or if you want you can just uh, select any chart as you like and place it at the top and right mouse click and bring it and align with the map all right now if you see here we'll just uh, do some modifications uh, in the table also in the chart okay now if you see here uh, currently it's showing the data from 2008 to 2012 now if i just uh, move the uh, the scroll bar you can see it is changing 2009 to 2013 All right, so we'll do some more uh, uh, beautification of chart and uh, we'll uh, conclude the session then. I'm going to show you now how to create a dynamic title. Uh, when I'm changing the years, the title should change uh, automatically instead of we type it uh, manually. So let's see how, it will, uh, how we can do that one. I'm going to give a formula, simple formula equals say year on year growth okay for I'm going to close uh, the, the quotations and I'm using a function or uh, not a function like uh, concatenation which is uh, I'm using the, uh, the, the and key 
and say this year which is d25 i am percent the year on year growth for 2008 to 2012 so if i move the uh, the scroll is changing from 2009 to 2013 so i'm going to use the same uh, title uh, on 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 the uh, the chart so i'm going to give a dynamic title here i'm just selecting this uh, chart title and i'll just say uh, go to uh, the formula bar Uh, equals and come down and give this cell link okay and press enter key and if you see here uh, automatically this changed to year on year growth for 2009 to 2013 so if i moved you can see year on year so year on year growth for 2008 to 2012 2009 to 2013 likewise all right That's it from me friends if you like this video please subscribe my channel OSVFX see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye